One of the biggest concerns in starting and stopping pumps is to prevent excessive surges and water hammer that may damage components of the distribution system. This can be avoided by carefully following recommended procedures and by understanding the basics of how these pumps operate within the transmission and distribution system. Another way to reduce the use of a lot of energy when starting and stopping pumps abruptly is the utilization of variable frequency drives, or VFDs, to aid in eliminating excessive energy surges. The VFDs are more energy efficient. Centrifugal pumps don't generate suction when dry, so the impeller must be submerged in water for the pump to start operating. And because they are not self-priming, they can burn themselves out if run without water. In addition, water is needed for the cooling of the packing material on the rotary shaft between energy source and pump. These problems can be minimized or avoided through proper design. Alarms and pump shutdowns can be provided within systems controls to address dry suction conditions. If a pump is located above water level, a foot valve or check valve is often provided on the suction piping to keep startup water in the pump and thus prime the pump. However, foot valves can wear, leading to leakage. They should not be considered foolproof to prevent dry suction, especially after a long shutdown period. Pump prime can also be maintained with a vacuum-controlled priming system. The priming valve automatically removes any air that accumulates and keeps the pump full of water at all times. Controlling water hammer is very important when starting a pump. This is accomplished by the use of a control valve on the discharge end of the pump that is opened slowly once the pump gets up to speed. This way, the surge of water doesn't produce a serious shock in the distribution system. This control valve should not be opened suddenly, nor should the pump be operated with the valve closed. A check valve is often used in the discharge piping to stop flow after the pump stops and prevent reverse flow into the pump. The sudden shutdown of a pump may cause water hammer, so relief valves or surge chambers are often installed to absorb the pressure shock. On larger pumps, a smooth shutdown is ensured by closing the control valve slowly while the pump is still running and then shutting off the pump just as the valve finishes closing. This way, the pumping unit is eased off the system. It's important to close the valve during a power failure because water may come back into the discharge piping and start to run the pump backward if there is not a check valve. When pumps are operated at a constant speed, system pressure is controlled by having various size pumps start or stop when needed. The disadvantage of frequent starting and stopping to control system pressure is excessive wear on the motors. Medium-sized motors should not be cycled more often than every 15 minutes and large motors even less frequently.